There aren't hidden gems in Vancouver anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're all exposed. When you're when you're from the UK, it's it's a bit too much of a change, I think. The village, the, the closest village, is just amazing. It falls off the hill, and you look at it and you think, how on earth did anybody decide to build that? <laughs> Unfortunately, we landed on the beach today because the wind dropped a little bit and we lost height, and that's the way it goes. Clouds of mosquitoes, so. Um... You've yeah. got to choose your place in those countries. <laughs> Every cloud is a silver lining though, right? E exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hiya, welcome to a new episode of Easy English. So as the summer is coming to an end and kids are about to go back to school, I wanted to know where Brits go on holiday. So where else better to go than down on the beach, where I also asked them for their recommendations for you guys about great destinations to visit inside the UK. Before we start this episode, if you're a big fan of Easy English, then why don't you subscribe below? Or if you want to help support Easy English, then click this link up here to become an official Easy English member. Here we go. Whereabouts have you been on holiday this year? The place we've been this year is around the south of England. We'll be going up to London. Uh, we will be going to Germany. And uh, we'll be hitting Paris on the way through because we're taking the Eurostar. What else? And I went for a week in Coroni, Greece, to go see another friend. Um, well, I guess I'd count this as a holiday. I'm currently in um, Rottingdean with my girlfriend and um, just staying at my parents' flat um, and just come here for a weekend to get away from the rush of London. Okay. Um, I also went to Greece a couple of weeks ago. Nice. Um, and went in the sea. Yeah. Um, which is kind of scary I guess. What holidays have you been on so far? Well um, this year yeah. none. <laughs> Terrib <laughs> yeah. Terrible this year uh, but personally I like to go to the Alps, I like to go skiing and, um, and we don't have really big enough mountains in this country to do that. You can ski in Scotland right. but to ski in Scotland is a big big gamble for the weather and the snow because it's a bit hit and miss. So I like to go to Val Turin in France, fabulous place, highest yeah. uh, ski resort in uh, Europe okay. and uh, almost guaranteed con good conditions. What, the summer holidays? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what have we done in the summer holidays? So... Been swimming? Yeah. Um, we've been to Knockhatch. Yeah. Um, What's a Knockhatch? Knockhatch is an adventure park, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We went there for your birthday, didn't we? Yeah, and it was your birthday last week. Oh yeah, um, with like rides and stuff like that and animals. Yeah. yeah, we've been to the beach a lot, haven't we? Yeah. Where have you been on holiday this year? I've been to Italy. Um, I have a house in Italy, which is just across the border from France. So 40 minutes from Monaco, an hour from Nice. I haven't had any holidays this year because I've been busy um, maintaining um, my little bungalow in Peacehaven. Oh. And... Uh, Although my niece keeps trying to persuade me to go to South Wales, where she lives, um, I just haven't got round to it. Do you want material to help you learn English with this episode and all of our previous episodes? then click this link here to become an official Easy English member and get your learning perks right now. If you become an Easy English member, then you'll get learning extras for all of our episodes, which includes a transcript, a vocabulary list, a worksheet, and video and audio downloads each and every week. You could help improve your English by using the audio and video downloads section of our perks. Perhaps you could use the video with subtitles, with the transcript in your hand, and keep along with the video at your own pace. Or you could download the video without subtitles, or just use the mp3 audio file of the episode to test and practice on your listening skills. So if you're interested in becoming an Easy English member, then go to this link here and start improving your English skills today. Now back to the episode. And 
Now, I just caught you uh, paragliding yes. a minute ago. And is there a certain place you'd like to, like, dream destination to go paragliding? Well, there's many nice places around the world. Uh, Colombia has some great places. Brazil has awesome places. But closer to us here in England, uh, the French Alps are an amazing playground, a huge, vast area of mountains that lend themselves very well to paragliding. <laughs> but here we are on Brighton seafront, and we're just soaring the little cliffs that are over there, the tiny little cliffs. Yeah. Um, a small fry for you, is it? Very, there? very small. <laughs> it's a bit of fun, but unfortunately we landed on the beach today because the wind dropped a little bit and we lost height and that's the way it goes yeah. it's the all part of parcel of yeah, the... yeah it's the first time actually in the many times oh, really? i've flown it it's the first time i've landed on the beach yeah at least the tide was a bit out eh? oh yeah i wouldn't do it in that high tide yeah, that's, <laughs> that is foolish <laughs> and do you often holiday in the uk um i think since the pandemic i think a lot of people holiday a lot more okay. in the uk rather than traveling because traveling is a um, bit harder to do. Okay. Um, it's also a bit more expensive and it's worse for the planet. So it's much better to be traveling around the UK, I think. What if uh, the UK was off the menu? Where would you be going on holiday? <laughs> well, the last time I went abroad was, <laughs> I hate to think, <laughs> um, longer ago than, than when you were born, I would think. Oh, really? Yes. I thought you were going to mention about COVID, but it's... No, no, no. No. Pre-me, pre-Covid and pre-me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I mean, I did, in the 1960s, I did live for three months in Florence, in Italy, and that was absolutely beautiful. If someone was thinking about coming to the UK to, for their holidays, where would you suggest? It can be obvious or it can be a hidden gem. Um, well, London. Oh, here really, because really? of the beaches. Yeah. yeah. Brighton. Nice weather. Yeah, Brighton, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. You've got, you've got the, the seaside, nice. you've got the countryside <laughs> yeah. within yeah. a short distance. Yeah. People are friendly down here. Yeah. And if you want to go to London, then it's yeah. only an hour on the train. Perfect. Uh, a place called Pulbra. Pulbra. Well, it's now part of the South Downs Park. So again, it's not as hidden as it was <laughs> a few years ago. <laughs> Traffic uh, on the rivers and on the trails has increased significantly yeah. in the last few years. Perhaps COVID contributed to that too, because people were getting outside by yeah. uh, staying local, but also by traveling. So it, uh, yeah, I wouldn't call it a hidden gem. <laughs> it was much more hidden before, but it's a lovely part of England. Yeah, yeah. So, South Devon, without any doubt, it's the most beautiful place. Why is that? Why, why is it beautiful? What, yeah, why do you find it beautiful? Well, just just the natural scenery, the light is very special. I mean, the light here is pretty good, but the light in southwest England is absolutely beautiful. For for because uh, I'm a photographer, and the light oh, for really? photography is is quite beautiful. You get some magic hours, dear. Some good mm. magic hours. Oh yeah, especially as the um, the autumn comes in. Northumberland, the Northumberland coast is fabulous as long as you don't want to swim. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? It's cold. No, no. <laughs> no. I mean, why is it so fantastic? You've got these amazingly <laughs> long beaches with right. castles at the back of them. Right. Um, you've got places where you've got puffins. Well, you, at the moment you've got puffins until they all die, I suppose. With the, they've got bird flu up there. Ah, uh, yeah. And you've got, um, and it's quite, it, not a lot of people holiday there. Yeah. Um, so, it's north of Newcastle. Yeah. And and then there's you you haven't really got anything very big until you get up to Edinburgh. So you've got this long coastline, most of which is long sandy beaches. And then you've got a whole string of castles, Wakeworth, um, Bamborough, and you you you'll know them from films. Well, personally I love Dorset. The Jurassic Coast right. is a fab fantastic place. It is popular, but there are some lovely little nooks and crannies in uh, along the coast there, somewhere like Dancing Ledge. Not many people know about it, but it's a fabulous plateau of rock, and someone's built a swimming pool in the plateau of rock that you have to walk down to. It's not close to any car parks or any pubs or restaurants or anything like that, so you've got to walk to it, but it's, it's amazing, a fabulous place. So the Dorset Coast... 
think Amazing. you just exposed a hidden gem there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's great, though. I, anyone who comes to England, I'm, there's so many nice places. The, the Gower Peninsula, southwest Wales, amazing, beautiful, spectacular scenery. A Rossilli Bay, a great place to fly as well. It's a huge bay with a massive, great hill rising up at the back of the, the, the beach. It's fabulous. Love wow. It. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Let us know any good tips or recommendations you have for holidaying in the UK in the comments below. And we'll see you next week. Ta ra! Yeah. What was your favourite ride at this um, place? The train. The train, the runaway train. <laughs> Did it make you scary? Was it scary? <laughs>